morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas week two can't believe it's the second week of december already i know that this month is just going to fly by today is wednesday the 9th of december and i'm heading into london today i'm actually heading over to canary wharf um, i'm doing a collaboration with the like kind of area of canary wharf it's going to be for my instagram so it's going to kind of be showing you what there is to do see um eat drink shop that kind of thing so i had one of those mornings where i just didn't know what to wear i just wanted quite a simple outfit today um so i'm going to show you what i'm wearing in a sec but I've got the whole hairband back out. I I don't know, I just feel like, so yesterday I washed, blow dried and straightened my hair. And then today I haven't done anything to it apart from brush it and I've put the hairband on and I just think, do you know what? I feel like the hairband is like a saving grace. It just makes like a plain hairstyle look better. Um, what do you think to the hairband? I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. But I quite like it. As you can see in the background, there's lots of sparkles because later in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, some festive sequin fun looks. Um, but today isn't a sequin festive fun look. Today is just a simple outfit. So whenever... Whenever I'm stuck for what to wear, I just go for a basic black kind of underlayer. So I've got black boots, my black leather trousers, belt, and a black roll neck. And then from there, I can like put a nice coat on, put a scarf over, I've put the headband on, and I'm going to take my black Pauline bag as well. I do struggle to wear scarves. Um, with coats because I don't know whether to sit them under there like under the collar but then that's just not keeping you warm or I do actually whoops like to wrap it round but it's all got a bit tangled we'll see but I, I do like add, adding a scarf to an outfit I feel like it just adds another layer so this is what I'm wearing for the day I'm just going to pack my bag get everything ready and then I will leave Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. I have got my coffee here, just made that. And I've got lots of sparkly outfits behind me because this morning I am gonna show you some sequin festive looks. So, oh, what is, how's my lipstick? Oh my God, what awful application of lipstick I've put on there. It's quite a bright color, isn't it? I put it on and then I was just a bit like, hmm, I'll leave it on, but I might just like dab it out to um, kind of make it a bit more subtle. Did I, like literally as if I did that with my eyes closed, that is awful. Awful application, Laura. Um, so yes, I've got sequins to show you. So sequins is an obviously something we wear all year round and even at Christmas I feel like I'm still quite particular about it and particular of how it's styled and particular on the colour of sequin and just little things like that so I have actually got quite a few really nice sequin but not too much actually when I say not too much you can never be not too much of sequins the sequin looks but as minimal or as kind of as to my style as sequins can be, if that makes sense. So, so I'm going to put the outfits on and then talk you through them. Okay, so first up, um, sorry, I'm just excited to be wearing sequins actually. I really like this look. I feel like this is perhaps the chicest way um, I could wear sequins. So this gorgeous skirt is from H&M. Um, it's got quite a high split up, but it's quite nice because obviously it's longer, but then you can show off a little bit of leg here. I've paired them with little knitted ankle boots and I got these from Next a couple of years ago. They're so easy and comfortable to wear. Then I have styled it with a black blazer. You know me, obsessed with my blazers. Um, and then I've just put on a plain white jumper underneath. So I'm just keeping it quite simple, um, but obviously with a massive hero piece of the skirt. I'm just gonna grab a black bag. And here is my first festive look. I've just changed up my lipstick and do you know what, in real life, I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't look as bright as it does on here, that's so weird. This is a bit more pinky, this is a new 
prefer it. I've worn this quite a lot before. This is um, Laura Mercier. So I'm just going to show you my next festive look. So basically I've taken off the blazer and added slippers because I think a lot of the festive period we're going to be at home and even if I go around to someone's house ever I'm always taking my slippers with me. So if we're at home whatever you can feel festive but with slippers. So I feel like this is kind of two looks in one. You could like dress up smarter with the blazer and then the ankle boots and then you can take off the blazer swap the boots for slippers like a bit more of a casual and relaxed vibe but i just love this skirt so much and just for reference i'm wearing a size 10 in the skirt look at how it sparkles oh my god obsessed so here's my next festive look oh look at these trousers they are amazing. They're from H&M and they, I'm going to just show you up close. They're like a silvery, um, like grey matte sequin. They're so nice. They're super high waisted and then they're just a straight leg all the way down. I think they are really, really flattering. And as I said at the beginning, I like to keep my um, sequins simple. So I have just kept it on with this plain white jumper and I've actually just paired it with some little sandals I had from the summer, like two summers ago but I just quite like them with a little bit of a heel I feel like it just gives it that tiny bit of like an elevated look which I love and I think these look super expensive because they're like matte and just the fit of them I think look really classy and expensive um more so than the kind of shiny sequins um but I love these so much guys I can't remember at the beginning of the video if I said that all of these looks are sequin based so there's going to be different kind of, I'm going to do different themed festive looks. So this particular set of outfits are all sequins. This next one is not for everyone, but uh, <laughs> isn't it amazing? So it's a shirt and trouser combo from ASOS. I have just unbuttoned the sleeves and just rolled them back because the cuffs are quite tight on my wrist and I felt a bit restricted and... I like to kind of push up my jumper sleeves anyway. I just like to be um, like hands free basically. Really, really nice dusky pink sequins on the um, bottoms. They're almost like a jogger. They're an elasticated um, waist with this gorgeous ribbon um, detail. We've got pockets. They're a nice cropped length. I've got them on with slippers, of course. You buy them separately as well. So you could just get either either if you didn't want both, but you could wear them separately, wear them together. This isn't a minimal outfit at all. This is a very wow sequins look, but do you know what? It's Christmas. This is the only time of year we get to wear them. Um, so yeah, this outfit is really going for it in the sequins. Okay, next to sequin look is this amazing sequin shirt. This is from River Island. I haven't shopped at River Island for ages, but I noticed online they had some really good sequin pieces. So I picked up a few to style. And this shirt is really nice. It's like a, it's a silvery sequin, but on the, um, where the buttons are, kind of here and under the collar and around, it's uh, like a champagne satin. So I think it's a really, really nice Really nice colour. I've paired it with some faux leather trousers, the same little ankle boots, and a black bag. And I really like this look. I think this is an easy way um, to wear sequins. I will take this shirt out in a minute. It's actually quite long and it could be quite versatile. You could wear it in quite a few ways. Um, but for now, I've just tucked it in. Here is the shirt untucked. With these trousers, I wouldn't wear it untucked. But you could definitely wear it um, untucked with um, tights or something. You could also belt it. Um, and wear it with tights perhaps as more of like a little dress. So I've kept the shirt on that I just showed you with the trousers, but I've just put a waistband, a waistband, a waist belt on, some black tights, and then I've just kept the little black ankle boots on. And this is such a cute little look. I love wearing this shirt as a dress as well. I knew that this would be a versatile piece and I was just having a play around. I hadn't kind of planned this outfit for this video. Also, it is coming into tights season. And I can't recommend heist tights enough. Um, they are just by far the best. I like my tights um, like, uh, I don't know, like not opaque basically. I like them quite densely black. And now I'm just going to lift up <laughs> my dress because I just want to show you. Yes, you can see my pink knickers. But I want to show you this big waistband on them. 
because this really, really holds them up um, and kind of acts as a bit of like shapewear as well. And they don't roll down. They're really, really nice material. They are a bit more expensive than like tights you'd perhaps buy in like Primark or Tesco. But honestly, I think it's so worth it. They just feel amazing. My next sequin look is an all black look. So I've got the same black boots, black tights. I've put a black roll neck on with the blazer. And then the sequin part of the outfit is these really cute little shorts. These are from River Island again. I told you they had some really nice good sequin pieces. And you know me, I love wearing shorts more than like dresses and skirts. I just love, um, I don't know, I just much prefer wearing shorts. So this is like a really me outfit. I loved it kind of adding this little bit of sparkle then keeping it's super simple for the rest of the outfit so we've got another black sequin look here this is all in one which is absolutely amazing because i do find the struggle of like tucking all the jumper into the skirt but this is all in one like it's attached it's amazing it's got these splits up the side which i love um really really nice soft jumper and then there's just gorgeous um sparkly skirt i think this is a genius idea it looks really chic and looks really well put together but it's so easy because it's just one dress i love this it's from river island again and i've got it in another color so i'll show that to you in a second but i have styled it again with these little black ankle boots these boots have come in so handy today haven't they because this is like plain on the top you could put your super special like christmas earrings in, tuck your hair behind your ear and really show off those gorgeous earrings and my final sequin look to show you is the same dress that i had on but just with a beige jumper and a more kind of silvery sequin skirt paired this one with slippers because as i've said i'm going to be living in my slippers this christmas and i really like the fluffy texture with the sequins i think it's a really nice contrast in textures it's exactly the same so it's all in one it's a dress um, but it kind of looks like a jumper and skirt i absolutely love this i think this is so easy to wear um so comfortable but feeling so good this is so easy to wear super comfortable really feel good so if you're kind of wanting to wear sequins but not sure how to wear them i think this is a good option and it's an easy option as well so that is it for my sequin looks i've now got a lot of tidying up to do but there will be more festive looks coming i don't know i might do a few more in this video but if not they'll be in next week's vlog i'll leave all of the links to everything that i have just tried on below good morning everyone it's friday morning there's a little bit of sun out if you can see it coming through the window oh my god these dark days i find them hard and when there's like a little bit of sunlight it just gives me that like glimmer of like light art oh, lover in last week's vlog i did my evening skincare so i thought um i would do a very quick morning skincare i am heading out today i've just got like some errands to run booked in to have my eyebrows laminated next week so i've got to go for a patch test i've got to go and return some of the christmas decorations that i didn't put up I've got to drop loads of stuff off at the charity shop and like loads of little bits and bobs like that. So I just want to do um, my morning skincare and um, yeah, so I just thought I'd just very quickly show you. In the morning, there's a few different cleansers I use. I like the Origins Ginseng, that's a really nice refreshing one. I also like the Elemis, the Marine Cleanser. But today I'm going to use the Kiehl's, this is a Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. This feels so nice, I just wet it on my hands. And then I'm going to spritz the Elemis Superfood um, Mist on. For eye cream, I'm going to use the Elemis, the Pro Collagen Eye Renewal. And then for my serum this morning, whoops, got too many out. I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden. These are the Hyaluronic Acid Capsules. These are amazing. They're encapsulated, so they're really like potent and super fresh and you get just like the right amount these are biodegradable as well the little capsules there's always enough to take down your neck as well 
liquid moisturizer. I'm going to use the Kiehl's, the Calendula um, water infused moisturizer. It's the same range as the face wash. This is a really, really lightweight, almost gel-like moisturizer. Can you see it's not creamy, it's like a gel. So if you prefer water-based um, or lighter moisturizers, then this is a nice one to try feels super kind of lightweight and really refreshing on the skin. I just want to put a little bit of something on my face but not kind of foundation or makeup. So I'm gonna use the Luminate, it's the Invisible Instant Glow Beauty Serum. Um, I really, really like this. It gives your skin, I'll just show you, probably got a bit too much there. Uh, just like a glow, it's quite hard to explain it just gives it this like really light coverage but I don't think this is makeup I do still think this is classed as skincare but it just gives like a bit of something to your skin really nice kind of like healthy glow and then finally I'm finishing off with a bit of lip balm and this is the by Terry the um, balm de rose this is the creamiest like most just delightful lip balm ever. I've been using this on and off for a little while now. It gives like a really nice sheer kind of pink tint and it smells amazing and it's so moisturizing and nice. I've been doing a lot of giveaways over on my Instagram and I really wanted to do one on here as well. So here we go. Here is the giveaway prize. There is the Charlotte Tilbury stocking with a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. This is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. There's also two limited edition NARS holiday lipsticks. Also a NARS lipstick gift set. This comes in the bag and in the box. Also the Festive Fantasy from Britney Spears and five OP nail varnishes and this gift pouch. The giveaway details will be in the description box. Good morning everyone. It's Monday morning. Um, I'm just getting ready for the day because I've got a day uh, at home of filming and shooting some projects that I need to get sent off today. And then I'm getting my eyebrows laminated this afternoon. Sorry, moving my mouth weird i've had quite a few like ulcers come up from my brace and like sometimes where like the skin rubs on it um it's really sore so i feel like i'm moving my face weirdly I'm just getting ready as i said and uh, it's time for highlighter and i actually just wanted to show you um i don't know if i've shown this on on here on youtube i've put it on my um Gosh, what am I I'm using the plot this morning? Put it on my Instagram, but not on here. And I just wanted to show you. It's the Banana Low Lighter from Rodeo. I'm just going to do one eye and then show you up close. I feel really tired this morning. Like, I haven't felt this tired on a morning for so long. I feel, like, really slow at doing everything. Um, so I'm going to get ready. I've had my breakfast. I've taken Bertie for a walk. So I'm going to go down, have a coffee, um, and then crack on and as i said i've got my eyebrows laminating this afternoon so um i need to obviously get everything done before then so i am on a bit of a time scale but let's just have a look it's just so much like brighter isn't it good evening everyone whoa i look so shiny by this light we've just had dinner and i'm going to make my mince pies now um but i just wanted to come to the light and talk to you because i couldn't the kitchen light isn't good light to come up close um so got my eyebrows done um i know before anyone says anything i know they're not everyone's cup of tea they're not everyone's taste but this is what i wanted to have done so i had them laminated which is basically like a straight perm um i'll pop some clips in here of what it looked like whilst i was having it done tom's not keen on them but you know i don't care i wanted them done because i wanted them done um it is going to take a bit of getting used to but do you know what they've given um it's given them such a nice shape she waxed them as well i'm really happy with them it's like anything it's going to take like a little bit of getting used to but i think having this done will make doing my eyebrows so much easier because i really really struggle to do my eyebrows like i i just find it really hard to get the right shape um and yeah so i just feel like with this 
it's just gonna make doing my eyebrows so much quicker and easier so i'm really happy with them so anyway let's go and make some mince pies so it's time to make the mince pies so basically these are i'm gonna call them cheat mince pies because i'm not making my own pastry nor am i making the mince meat so i I just wanted to, I don't think I'm very good at making pastry and I thought this is just a stress free, easy way of making your own mince pies. So I got the Just Roll Short Crust Pastry Sheets and also the specially selected um, mince meat from Aldi. I also bought this from Tesco's for my mince pies. Um, I've got a cookie cutter that's a star because I wanted to do stars on the top but this this is really big this star in comparison to my cup holes. I need to also google how long to bake um, oh it already says take the pastry out of the fridge 45 minutes before you want to work with it for goodness sake I just want to crack on with my mince pies I just want to get them in the oven basically so I can eat one So I also don't have a circular cookie cutter, so I'm going to use a wine glass. I'm not very well prepared for this, so let's see how it goes. Why is the pastry cracked? Because you're supposed to get it out of the fridge. I think it cracked basically when I was rolling it out, but I think that will like so like bond back together when it bakes. Why don't you dust some flour down and do it like they do on the baking shows, like Nigella? <laughs> Nigella would put these in the micro wave. Before you cut all them out with that, why don't you see if that actually works? How satisfying is that? <laughs> Let's see if it fits. Let me put my tray over here. Does it fit? Does it fit? It's not a too small. I think that is perfect. Is it? Yes, that is absolutely perfect. Yeah. 